Hi everyone, hope you're all doing great. I'm Anusha and if you're new to my channel Nest Artfully, I talk about everything that goes into making a house your home. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking you through multiple methods with which you can easily replace the art in your frames for your wall for any part of your house to give it a new vibrant look. The first method that we're going to be looking at today is what I call the printed paper method. Now for this you can get any nice printed paper that is like gift paper or craft paper. They come in a variety of designs. You also get these beautiful sheets of paper that is to be used for art journaling and many of them come with uh, designs, different little bits that you can cut out but they always come with a bag drop which has a print on it. So these types of paper can be very easy to just cut to the shape and put it inside your frame. I'll just show you a couple of these options and I'll show you how they look once they go into the frame and you can do the same. When I saw this piece of craft paper, I immediately knew it'll make some really lovely wall art and I wanted to bring it home. I wanted another piece to contrast with this and you know, um, be used as a second piece in the frame and I chose this paper because as you can see the first one has a very busy print but the second one is much more subtle while still being in the same color tone and color family. Now if you look at the reverse of these two craft papers you'll see one has lettering and looks very busy and the other one is just sort of a marble print which again has a very subtle look. So you can do this, choose something busy, choose something subtle, go for bigger elements, smaller elements, real elements and then just patterned elements and mix them up. Another thing I want to say is always keep an eye out for interesting packaging material or prints in magazines and even old book covers. Like this uh, bag that I recently got, paper bag, it has some very nice vintage styled prints that I can also use as some interesting wall art. I'm just going to cut some of these up and show them in a frame. Do stay until the end of the video to see how I style all of these on the walls of my home. For the second method, we're going to be looking at repurposing some old fabric. So I have these old pillow covers, they're about 7-8 years old and it's got a faded look so I don't use it much anymore. But they have some very nice motifs and patterns and I'm planning to transfer this into a frame and use it as wall art. So you can just cut out any old uh, piece of cloth that you may have or even if you have some running material, you can probably spare a little for an art frame such as this piece of running material I have here. It has some very nice uh, print of elephant. It's actually a Kalamkari design and it has some nice ethnic prints. So I'm going to be using this as well. Let's look at the styling in the end. For the third style of easy to put together wall art without any drawing skills, you'll need some printed paper from any old book. It could be a textbook or an old novel that you no longer need. Now the books obviously come in different sizes so depending on the frame you will need to take enough paper to create one piece of paper on which you can do your work. Ideally they should not have any pictures because that kind of ruins the aesthetic so once you have this. If you have a bigger book, maybe it would have just fit into the frame that I have right now. Unfortunately, I don't. So I'm going to be putting together enough of these smaller sheets to be able to fit into that. And I want to keep my margins as little as possible so that the look has more print on it rather than white spacing. So that's what I'm going to do now. Cut away the margins, stick the pages together to create this size and then I'll show you the next step. some design element on this. I've taken two colored sheets, black and cream, and I've cut out some shapes with the help of a bottle cap as a circle and semicircle. You can do anything of your choice. I plan to keep them in a certain pattern 
something like this. I'll just use glue to get them on the sheet and then they'll be ready to go into the frame. For the fourth and final DIY wall art that you can easily put together, I'm showing you one more that I've actually shown you already in the living room makeover, which is with foliage and I'm going to spray paint this gold. But before I do so, I must dry the leaf so that it lasts longer and the leaf doesn't decay. So I'm going to quickly take you through how to dry your leaf or flowers at home. So now there are many methods to drying leaves and flowers, but the easiest and the quickest method is with the help of the microwave. For this, you will need one layer of a cardboard sheet. And then on top of that, you'll need a layer of felt cloth or if you have any sort of warm acrylic material. And on top of that, you will need to keep a layer of cotton. Then you place your leaf, try to place it as flat as you can. And then you again layer it up with a cotton layer and then the felt layer and then the final layer of cardboard and then put some weight on top of it and put it in the microwave on low or medium heat and keep taking it out every few 30 seconds and checking if the leaves are getting dry and not burning. You want to avoid letting them burn. You just want them to dry out. As you can see now, the leaf that I put in the microwave is dry and it still retains its color. But now I'm going to give it a coat of spray paint in gold and then I'm going to place it within the frame and that's it. We get into styling. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna So when it comes to this piece that was featured in the living room makeover, a lot of you had questions about how I did it. Again, it's just uh, like the first video, the Nordic art video with zero drawing skills, where I just cut pieces of paper in different colors in the shape that I wanted, in this case, the fish head, and then just layered it up. I started from this end and worked until this end. So as you can see, I just have fish heads, which I further detailed with some amount of the scales and the eye and the mouth. And that's about it. It's extremely simple. So those were the four easy to do DIY wall art that you can put together at your home for any wall in your house to add some color and vibrancy. I really hope you enjoyed this video and as always, thanks for watching and have a great day. Even if the sky is falling down